So I'd like to get a metronome into my piano game. I've got the model I'd like to use here in Blender and I'd like to animate the metronome stick back and forth on each click. So I've got the metronome object in Unity and I've imported the textures and materials and I've grouped all of the pendulum uh, objects under this one parent object so that when I move the rotation it pivots around the correct point there. So the first step is to add the animator component to my parent object which I'll do over on the right click add component and then search for animator here and then click on animator and then you also need a controller to control the animations um, I'm in my animations folder down here if you right click click create and then animator controller and we'll call this one metronome animator and then you drag that into your animator component and then again in my animations folder I'm going to right click click create and then select animation I'll call this um, pendulum full swing now if you open the animator you've just created you'll need to add this animation into uh, the animator which you do just by dragging it in like so and then you can double click on the animation itself and you should see uh, this animation panel in the bottom left or wherever it's configured on your version of unity now with the game object selected that you'd like to animate in this case it's called animated metronome pendulum if I go back to the scene view so we can see what we're doing I'd like to animate the X component of the rotation so I click add property transform rotation and I click on the plus sign on the right now it automatically adds two sets of keyframes one at the start of the animation and one at the end if you want to click on the end one select them all and delete for now so with my first keyframe set and the pendulum all the way to the right I'm going to go halfway I'm going to change the rotation all the way to the left about here and then add another keyframe now you can see from the start as I scroll along here it goes all the way to the left and now I want to set it back to the same position on the right so I'm going to copy and paste this so now you can see if I play it's animating back and forth here is the type of pendulum I'm hoping to emulate as you can see from the motion of the real pendulum it slows down towards each end so it speeds up in the middle let me show you that again it speeds up in the middle and slows down towards the edges so we're going to try and recreate that so at the moment it's just animating back and forth in a straight line and we can see this if we look at the curves tab down here you can see that the pink property which is our x rotation is going from one side to the other and back again and you can see that this is the rotation value over time so rotation going up time going across and we want the pendulum to be traveling the fastest in the middle which it currently is it does slow down a little bit but we want to increase the amount it slows down to create that more exaggerated pendulum effect so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here and add a key see it adds the ability to change this curve I'm going to drag it down here and then add another key at the top here and do the same thing so that we have more of an increase in speed here and then it slows down the top here if we do roughly the same on the other side you should see that we get this pendulum motion more clearly so now if I play it it's much more exaggerated now I can adjust these values to however I want them drag them into place maybe I want it to be slower maybe I want it to be faster until we get the exact motion that we're looking for something like that now there's several other options you can use uh, if you right click on these keys you can do things like flat which will automatically flatten the control here there's also broken which allows you to adjust one side and not the other auto will automatically uh, smooth it according to the nearest uh, control points and free smooth allows you to move these control points as you please and of course if you want to simplify it you can just click on a key and click delete that's it for now hopefully that helps some of you out there and please subscribe for future updates on my piano game